Hello everyone, welcome to the first vlog of 2023, which is kind of mad because we're in February and I don't know how I've managed to leave it that long. But today I thought I'd vlog because I'm doing something fun. I'm going on a little shopping day with Ellie um, and I thought I'd just take you guys along and see what we get up to, see where we go. I really want to have a look at this coach bag that I've had my eye on for a while. I saw it on Farfetch ages ago and I think they've now launched it into their stores. So I want to go have a look at it and see it in the flesh because I've been really thinking about it. Um, so yeah, and just have a mooch about and just have like a nice chill catch up kind of day um i'm obviously vlogging so i'm making the most of it um but i thought i'd show you my outfit because i quite like my outfit today i mean it is cold outside it's like seven degrees and i've gone maybe a little bit like not warm enough but you know when you have an outfit that you want to wear you know you want to wear something there's nothing that's going to sway me to changing this i am going to put a couple extra layers in my bag just so i have it in case but let me show you okay so this is the look i've gone for oversized cream jumper um i've got two layers underneath this i'm going to take an extra one just in case i do get cold um and then i've got my i don't know why i went to do that <laughs> levi's 501 90s i've rolled them up at the bottom i really like the way a rolled up jean looks sometimes especially when you've got like a um, a certain type of trainer these trainers that i've got on are quite like thin and small so i feel like they look quite nice with a rolled up hem um these are my new sneaks uh they are the gazelles from adidas in this gorgeous green color um i love them they're so so nice and i am just very happy to be wearing them here's a little close-up for you oh my scarf's just fallen um and then i'm wearing this bomber jacket from anin bing i really really wanted to wear this this was another thing i wanted to wear these shoes and i wanted to wear this jacket so if i freeze i freeze i've got no that's my own fault scarf obviously because it's cold so need to keep warm and then i'm going to take this north face tote bag probably wear it that way around um to carry my things in because i was just going to take a small bag but because it's cold and i've stupidly decided to wear less clothing um i mean i think i might be warm enough but you just never know um yeah i need a tote bag so and i also have to pick up something from a shop so we can put it in here um, but yeah, that is the outfit. I am going to go and meet Ellie, of which I am late, so I need to leave ASAP. Um, and I'll catch up with you when I'm with her. Look who I found! Good morning! We've just had a nice catch up. A little chin wag. Like, as if we haven't seen each other in like, I don't know. Do you know what? What? When did we, we last see each other? We saw each other pretty much exactly a week ago. And no. yet we chatted. <laughs> this is the as thing. As if we haven't seen each other for I'm months. such a like, I'm such a like, um, always have if if we're close i always have so much to say yeah oh you can't see me there you go um so yeah we've just been chatting and now we're going shopping do you know this is very excited about us though like we could go three months let's see each other we could go three days let's see each other and we would still have just as much to catch up on just always as much to chat about. i always have so much to say yeah. always. <laughs> anyway <laughs> um ellie's just enlightened me that she wants to buy a bag so i'm having a look at summer bags because i am spring ready you you're out spring ready my outfit is not you're looking very cute i'm loving ellie it. is like um you're giving winter I, classic yeah, winter I am. I just and i'm giving spring this morning i'm giving i'm ready for spring i have got layers on that which is good tell you <laughs> yeah anyway i'm gonna go have a little wander around and i'll show you of course it's nice and quiet at the moment which is nice yeah that's that speak soon <laughs> Um, but I didn't really film a huge amount of me talking yesterday because me and Ellie were just catching up and chatting and wandering about shopping but I did obviously take loads of clips of us 
in different shops and stuff um so yeah but i did buy something which i will show you later um because i don't have time to do it this morning but it's beautiful so i'm excited to show you that um but this morning sorry i'm saying um so many times i do apologize i keep noticing it anyway um <laughs> this morning i'm going to puppy yoga i've been kindly invited by like to know it to go to puppy yoga i'm really excited um it looks really fun i've never actually done puppy yoga before and i haven't done yoga in like a really 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 long time so it should be fun um i've got an outfit to show you it's freezing today and typically the outfit that i chose doesn't give winter it gives summer so i do have to put an outfit on over the top to keep myself warm in the process of getting there um but i do need to leave fairly soon so um i need to get a move on i also don't know whether i'll film a huge amount but i'm going to try my best and i'm going to take my camera with me and i'm going to see what happens because it's puppy yoga why not um but let me show you my outfit uh we'll have to go into my bedroom okay this is the outfit that i chose for the event i've got this um pangaya uh t-shirt on with the matching shorts um i just really liked this set it's very me so i picked it out but now i'm like oh my god i'm gonna freeze but it looks cute and that's the main thing i featured this in my haul recently so um yeah you might have already seen it but i really like it i'm gonna pop a tracksuit on over the top um because i feel like nothing else is gonna fit over these shorts and i don't want to change when i get there so i think just putting a pair of joggers over the top should be exactly what i need um but anyway i'm gonna get myself ready and together and then i'll catch up with you slash see you at puppy yoga maybe we'll see <laughs> okay this is the i'm off to yoga outfit um popped on this tracksuit over the top uh i say tracksuit they're actually not a tracksuit but they go together um adenola zip up hoodie with adenola joggers they're very creased but you know we're wearing a long coat it's fine since it's freezing i've got this coat on this is an old one from asos but they sell a similar one so i'll link that below um hat is from pangaya i thought since i'm going since we're doing a pangaya look i'll do this hat i kind of wanted to wear a beanie but also at the same time like i just don't <laughs> so we're going with a cap today looks quite cute and then um on my feet i'm wearing these new balance 530s in this blue color and that is the look i'm now gonna go and get myself together and head off because i don't want to be late and it's cold so yeah let's go i will not be that someone or a friend <laughs> <laughs> Um, but that aside, there are two main reasons why we do this. Reason number one is for the puppies. Um, it's just to get them nice and social. Lots of puppies um, in your room. <laughs> anyway, when we're holding puppies, we're just going to have like a special thing to do. And that's the past hour people things to do. We need freezing good and a bunch of to you was on wednesday when i went to puppy yoga well i didn't actually speak to you i just filmed some clips um but puppy yoga was so good i really enjoyed do you know what there's something about puppy that just hits different like so different and i'm just like i just loved it i loved every moment of it um the puppies were adorable did i do any yoga not really but um the puppy love was the main thing although I was so exhausted when I got home after that, that I just, I just, I needed some time alone to sit and chill. So that's exactly what I did. So yeah, didn't really do much after that and I didn't film much. Um, I'm still trying to get myself into vlogging in public. I'm finding it hard, but I'm, it's, it's, it's something that's out of my comfort zone and something I'm going to try and do um, more this year 
Um, but today is Friday. Today I'm spending the day just filming some content at home um, because I've got a few like reels and things I want to film. So that's basically the plan of the day. Um, I have a few parcels to post. Yesterday, oh my god, I was on a mission to post parcels. I need to put my hand down. This is really tiring. Maybe if I swap. That's better. Um, yeah, I had loads of parcels to post and I had to go to different things and the impost locker was full and then I had a really nice chat with the man who empties the impost locker. Um, I managed to get there at the right time and he was so nice and he gave me a little bit of like um, life advice. He was kind of like, um, his life advice was go travel while you're young before you have a family because you won't be able to do it. And I thought, you're so right. And then he, he was just, he was, honestly, I went from having a moody morning to having a really nice morning and a nice day and a very productive day. So thank you to him. It was really nice. Um, and yeah, so I've got a few more parcels to do today. I've got some bits of my vintage. If the vintage stuff is still up when this video goes live, I'll link my vintage below. I'm pretty sure it's I am Charlotte Olivia. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, there's definitely still bits on it at the moment, but if there's, depot still bits on there then i will link it below um because i'm trying to get rid of like bits and bobs that i've had just stashed in my storage cupboard for ages but anyway what i actually wanted to talk to you guys about was the item that i bought when i went shopping with ellie on tuesday because i haven't shown you and you know what the funny thing is usually when i get something new instantly i'm using it instantly i'm wearing it instantly i'm like right content this item that i bought I've not taken it out of the bag since I got it. I mean, I have, because when I got home, I wanted to look at it, but like, I haven't, it's been two days. I've not even looked at it, which is really weird for me. I'm having one of those like weeks where I just feel exhausted. I can't get myself motivated enough. Even though I have done quite a lot this week, it's really weird. I can't get my head around it. Anyway, let me show you the bag. We're going into the bedroom, because that's where it is. I just realized in the last clip, I just told you what I got without meaning to tell you. I don't think I've told you. Anyway, I bought a bag. I bought a bag. <laughs> it's from... Da, da, da. Coach. I actually have never owned a Coach bag, ever. Please excuse the fact I'm in my pajamas. Um, never owned a bag from Coach. But basically, I have been thinking about this bag for ages. Like, when I say ages, I mean ages. I saw this bag before Christmas maybe in like november time i can't remember i saw it on farfetch and i was like i love that like i really like that but i'm trying to be more considerate is that the right word considered yeah considerate when it comes to buying bags and stuff i want to make sure that if i'm buying something that's a little bit more expensive that i really want it and that i'm going to wear it and i have been thinking about this for months and they finally released it in stores they it wasn't in stores before which i think is mad um, because it was on far fetch, so god knows. I don't know if it was released somewhere else first. Anyway, not the point. Um, and I went into the store and I just instantly had to buy it. Like, it was like an instant sold. Because I knew I loved it, but you know when you just need to see it and you need to just... So, it's in this bag. In this lovely bag. Um, and you won't be surprised by this bag, I don't think, when you see what it looks like. Um, because... It's very me and I cannot wait to wear it. So, are you ready? Oh, she's so pretty. So this is the, I don't know what the name of it is. I'll pop it on the screen. Um, this is a new coach like Y2, Y2K bag. Um, I love bags like this. I think they add a little bit of something fun without being too OTT and it's something that you can wear all the time. These kind of monogram bags have become really, really trendy in recent years. Um, but I find that with my style, I, I often wear a lot of plain clothing. Like I don't necessarily wear a lot of print, a lot of, um, you know, bold colors or anything like that. So sometimes like a bag like this can just add that little bit of texture, a little bit of print that just adds something, it spices up the outfit. And I basically saw this and I loved the colour of it. So it's giving like um, vintage, first of all. It's also giving like um, vintage Gucci, that kind of vibe. But obviously it's way, way more affordable. I think this was £290. 
I think. I could be wrong. I'll pop the, num the, the price on the screen. Um, but I just love it. I love the brown. The brown is like a really dark. I don't know if you can see that. But it's a really dark brown. I have my Celine bag that I love. Let me get it. So this is my Celine. Um, I love this bag. It's one of my favourites. I probably wear it with the majority of my outfits. But this has got a tan strap. And sometimes the tan doesn't fit with the outfit or doesn't give the right vibe. Whereas this darker brown shade is going to be the perfect brown that I need. And whilst you might think they are similar, they are very different in my eyes. Um, but I am beyond excited to use this bag like and it's a really good size as well Like you can fit a decent amount in here. I thought it was going to be way smaller than this So I'm actually really really happy with it. Um, it's got a little pocket on the side as you can see I've not even used it yet. I've not worn it. Um, they do this in a green a blue a pink Green blue pink There's another color Maybe a purple I don't know <laughs> yellow I don't know but there's another colour and then there's the brown one. The brown one is the most neutral one which is why I went for this. But I will link it below for anyone who is interested in looking for a bag like this. It does definitely give that vintage look. Obviously it's a lot cheaper than some of the other designer brands. It's not cheap but it's not like the, the most expensive. Um, and yeah I'm very excited to use it. Might even film some content with it today. But yeah that is my new little bag. Very excited. Um, I'm hopefully, maybe, potentially going to Paris in March, so that would be fun. If you've been a subscriber since, well, a long time, you'll know last year I went to Paris and I'm hoping to go again so she can get a nice little fun outing in Paris. I mean, I'll use her here, but you know when you get something like really cool and fun, you're like, I need to go to somewhere new, it needs, an, it needs a really good outing. Or is that just me? It's probably just me. Anyway, I need to um, figure out what I'm going to film today. I'm thinking, if you saw my haul video, look at my prints. Oh my god, I was going to say tell you guys about these prints. So, I don't know about any of you guys, but um, I love a white wool. I love a white wool. And I find that sometimes white wools... Well, I've been living in this flat for like eight months now. Seven? Eight months? Um... And I was finding that the white walls were giving boring. It was giving plain. It was giving no personality. And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But for me, I was walking into my home. Where it's just me living here. I was like, it just needs a bit of fun. And before I ever get to the point where I have to share a place. And I have to think about what someone else thinks. I'm going to put whatever I want on the wall. So I ordered all these prints from Desenio. Um, I'm not working with them by the way, I just love Desenio and I really wanted something fun to switch up this room. This room is very neutral, it's a room that I didn't really pay much time, I didn't put much time and effort into it, not because I didn't want to but because like, I was like, I've, I've got my filming location, we're fine. But the more and more I live here I'm like, soon enough you're going to move out. I mean I've got my flat for two years but you know, I don't want to be towards the end of like, the tenancy and be like oh i didn't do anything with it so all of these prints are from desenio let me show you um so this is what it's currently looking like it's not done so don't think that this is it but i loved this one and i just this was what sold me all of these <laughs> so i got this one and i really wanted that one i've wanted that one for ages i thought that was really i love the pink and the red of this um monaco grand prix print if you know me i love f1 and then that one's kind of fun and then this one's actually a print i had before um which i just thought kind of added a neutral touch within the colors and then i have a print that's going to go here excuse my piles of clothes it's going to go here which is this print which i need a frame for so that's going to go there and then i'm hopefully going to get another one to go there um just so it adds a bit of fun and especially as we go into spring and summer i think this will just add like that kind of summery fun vibe that my room needs. I did also get another print, let me show you. I got this one, um, this is actually going to be put on the wall but I've got no uh, command strips to put it up so it's currently just resting here um, but I have wanted one, this one for ages and I just think it's really cute so I might get like, once this is on the wall I might get another one to go there or something to go there so maybe like a little mirror could look cute there. Anyway, yes yeah, so that's going to go on the wall. And then the last two I got were these ones. Um, this one's like a little alcohol martini one and I don't actually know what this says but I think it's really cute. I'm pretty sure I did google it and I can't remember what it says. 
Um, but yeah, I'm hopefully going to put those on the wall. I don't know yet. They're currently just staying there because, again, I don't have any command strips to hang them up. But they look cute, but they're all from Desenio. Um, and I love Desenio. I will link the website below and um guys can go check out what they've got in they've got some really good bits they always do um i used to be a only neutrals print girl and now apparently everything's got color so <laughs> change woman look what's just arrived when i say this is heavy it's heavy like i get dior i've had a few dior parcels before this is from dior beauty by the way but nothing that's been this heavy. Oh my god. Look at that. I don't think I've ever seen something so beautiful. It's textured. <gasps> it's textured. It's neutral. <gasps> Wow. I don't think I've ever seen a PR package so amazing as this. It's the new, um, well, I think it's new. I don't know if it's new, but it's, oh, it is new. It's their new um, Dior Forever Skin Velvet Veil Foundation. Forever Skin Glow, I've used before and I love it. And then I, are these concealers? <gasps> They're concealers. Wow! Oh my god! <gasps> this is possibly like. This box is going on display. Thank you so much for your, oh my God. Wow. Just a little close up of what's inside. So these are the concealers. Um, if anyone is these shades, um, these dark shades, because I, they are not my shade, let me know and I can gift them to you because I am um, not going to use them and I'd rather someone who is that shade use them. Um, and then we've got Dior Velvet Forever Velvet right Veil. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Listen to that. And this box, I mean, look at the mirror, first of all, but it's beautiful. Oh my god. Love it.